It does. I was really worried about that. It's very difficult to introduce a book or a work or a concept that's going to challenge everything that people know about their existence, their perception of work, their perception of income, their perception of time, their perception of reality. Because right. one of the keys, the big key of AI is that it tricks our human perceptions into believing there's some anthropomorphized character mm. out there that is directing us in a way we can comprehend. Uh, there is no anthropo <laughs> anthropomorphized character. This is just a, a con yeah. conglomeration of, of algorithms put together by the most genius data scientists and systems developers on the planet to exploit you. Yeah. It's so, so everything that we know and we perceive as human beings is being disrupted. And it's being disrupted not for, let's say, the wealthy, not for the comfortable middle class, maybe not even for the comfortable lower working class, but for the most desperate and deceived and exploited workforce mm -hmm. in the world today, as has always been, which is people of color, women, people that are disenfranchised from the workforce, people already living in poverty and desperation where they don't have as many choices. Right. So the, the hideousness of this scheme that will creep from this bottom up into now you see with chat GPT and the, the higher level right. AI development, it's going to creep up into this, into this working class and middle class. Uh, and, you know, that progression is happening extraordinarily quickly. So to my surprise, to some extent, this, this new paradigm has converged with, with the, completion of my book and my work to uh, be a real humdinger, uh, but not in a good way because I have two <laughs> adult children that I'd like to live their full lifespans. And I think this puts that severely at risk.